Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get every single Season 2 reward here in NBA 2K24, my team. And yes, the mode rewards are mediocre. There are a couple of good ones, but the fact that they're still rubies is really, really disappointing. I am not going to disagree with that in the slightest. With that being said... We still got a lot of good rewards this season, a lot of things to talk about, so we got to talk about those in today's video. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it, starting off with just overlooking all the rewards. So this season, the season two rewards, you are going to be looking at Diamond Wilt Chamberlain, as well as the ultimate reward, Diamond SGA. Christian Leitner is the first salary cap reward. We know that Terry Dishinger is the final salary cap reward, and that there will be two more later this season um we also have a amethyst drone kersey as well as amethyst kevin McHale, and then ruby bob love mike conley cliff robinson phil jackson eddie johnson ray felton chris morris uh jeff hornacek and then sapphire bernard king sapphire rick fox ruby ad and ruby luca Doncic. those are all your reward players for season two as well as a couple of collector level players i will just come down here to talk about those real quickly as well that's uh gordon hayward and nate archibald i already have nate archibald just in the cards i had collected in season one don't quite have gordon Hayward. We'll just talk about that one real quickly. Collector level, uh, Nate Archibald is the new player for 600 cards collected, which I already had. Uh, and then seven, um, Gordon Hayward is 750. I'm like 100. 43 away from it i'll get that at some point later this season i'm not really focused on collector level actually um to be completely honest but i will at some point probably pick up some more cards toward that as they continue to get cheaper i'll just get cards uh, basically just gonna be earning a lot of reward cards and stuff and adding cards to my collection as well from certain things so whatever the case may be that is how you get gordon hayward and nate archibald outside of those two players everybody else is a motor reward player in some sort christian leitner is your salary cap reward right now terry dishinger is going to be the end reward at the end of the season christian leitner you get in here or sorry ruby e is who the salary cap reward is. Christian Leitner is the Ascension card. I'm sorry. Uh, so Christian Leitner is Ascension. Ruby E is currently the salary cap reward at 2,500 points. And then um, you can get obviously Amethyst Terry Dishinger at the end of the season, who hopefully will be updated to be able to play shooting guard and with better SIGs and animations, which I think he will. I would recommend getting these rounds done because I think there's a really good chance that Terry gets updated at the end of the season. Uh, offline game modes, you have clutch time offline, which is Eddie Johnson. He's decent. He's at 50 wins, which is going to be uh, tier. I mean, let's just see. Let's just see what the rewards are at each tier. Just real quickly, a deluxe badge pack, 1200 MT, a token, 2500 MT, two tokens, 2500 MT, three tokens, 5,000 MT, four tokens, and then Ruby Eddie Johnson. Then there's going to be a bunch of extra rewards, and it's going to be 2,500 MT there, uh, opening a door of some sort, 2,500 MT. The rewards afterward aren't that good. There's 10K MT at 100 wins, I guess. But uh, Eddie Johnson is in clutch time offline, triple that offline, same type of thing. We can scroll through here and see all the boosts. It's, it's MT tokens and boosts, basically. Uh, and then there's a Showtime level up deluxe on Zello pack. If you pulled a uh, an Amethyst or something out of that, that could be free MT, so that's nice, I guess. Uh, and then 5,000 thousand mt right there and ruby mike conley at 100 wins outside of that nothing else particularly good there's a perfect build deluxe pack and a legendary path deluxe packs at 180 and 100 or 170 and 190 wins so you could pull something good out of those as well domination no do domination this season and then there's nothing else really in here there is a spotlight challenge um you could knock and some liftoff challenges so you got the spotlight challenge for the level up players will give you a half badge at the end of it uh some other stuff in here as well including a diamond prize ball a three point del shot deluxe pack that could be pretty cool i guess and then um, these liftoff challenges are going to reward you with some MT and some packs and stuff. So some stuff here if you're looking for MT for sure. Uh, I may do these later in the season. Probably not right now. I got other priorities right now. There's this signature challenge, this Wimby signature challenge, which gives you 2,500 MT, a diamond shoe, and a shoe boost pack. Um, so I guess that's cool. And then off online, like I said, salary cap is E and Terry Dishinger. Clutch Online is going to be a deluxe badge pack at 5 wins, 2,500 at 10 wins, a token at 15, 5,000 at 20, two, two tokens at 25, 5,000 MT at 30, uh, three, M, three tokens, I'm sorry, at 35, and then 10,000 MT at 40 wins, four MT. Four tokens at 45, and then Ruby Cliff Robinson at 50. After that, you got a 60 win, which is an open the door. 70 win is 5K. 80 is uh, going to be opening the door as well. 5K at 90, and then 20,000 MT at 100, and then it's a ball drop after that every every season. Cliff Robinson, by the way, is amazing. This is the best mode to play this season, in my opinion, between the rewards 
and um, the reward player that you get. Cliff Robinson is an absolutely elite card. He's like a better Bam out of bio. Um, Chris Webber, Serge Ibaka, like he's really, really good. A top three or four center in my team right now, probably. Uh, Bob Love's pretty good as well. If you're a no money spent player, he's not bad. I mean, the rewards are all MT tokens and then Bob Love and a couple of door opening, and that is it. Nothing too crazy there. One deluxe pack, perfect build. And then there's unlimited reward, Chris Morris. He's going to be good. I have no doubt about that. Uh, the other rewards that unlimited are shoe packs, MT tokens. It hasn't updated. Why does that say Julius Randle? Hello? There we go. It's gone. It's Julius. It's Ruby Chris Morris at 5,000 points. A uh, good amount of MT, though, in tokens, honestly. The rewards in Unlimited are looking a little better this season. Uh, badge option pack, that's good. Badge option packs are nice. Um, shoe and boost pack, that's cool. Hoff badge option pack. Uh, shoe boost option pack. More Hoff badges, 20,000 MT. More Hoff badges, 25,000 MT. An unsellable super pack. That's better than season one's reward, but still unsellable is disappointing. A perfect build amethyst option pack unsellable at 15. That's not terrible. That's actually like a pretty good reward. And then a liftoff deluxe 10 pack unsellable 20K. I wish they were sellable boxes. I do wish the boxes were sellable. Outside of that, the rewards are better on Unlimited this season. I will give them credit. They did a better job. I have no idea, by the way, what the co-op rewards are looking like. I guess there's a couple players in co-op. You can get Zach Levine and Brooke Lopez from co-op if you get lucky as well as a co-op pack. And then obviously uh, Raymond Felton's going to be at 50 wins in co-op. Let's check uh, any other vault rewards. Are there you know, like the ball drop prizes? You can get players on ball drops, actually. So like you could get an Amethyst Scion or a Ruby. You could get a Ruby or an Amethyst on those. If you have those players sellable already in your collection, that's nice. Clutch time, same thing. Can get good stuff there. Uh, when you look at multiplayer clutch online, players that you could get it doesn't actually show me uh, i guess it's a ball drop and it doesn't show you what the ball drop options are vault prizes for tto include ruby derrick rose i mean amethyst derrick rose like there are some so, there are some decent prizes this season the door game prizes amethyst anthony davis and a couple and a ruby and a wow I'm not going to lie. These prizes are a lot better this season. They're not incredible still, but they're much improved. I got to give 2K some credit. The rewards, I think, are better this season. I wish the reward players were better because there are a couple of good ones. Chris Morris, E, uh, especially Cliff Robinson. Like There are a few really solid ones. Even Dan Marley's really good. I don't know where that Dan Marley is. I'm assuming he must be a salary cap reward later in the season because uh, he's on the 2K database, but he's not in game right now. So he'll be a reward later in the season for salary cap. But there are some good reward players. I just wish they were amethysts. But the rewards this season do look better than last season the fact that there are those players in the vault and stuff and in these different modes will make those game modes potentially rewarding as well if you have those players already in your collection which a lot of these players i would say i actually do for example demar derozan i already have that card or i don't actually no, I don't have DeMar DeRozan. He's Dunktober. I don't think I have him. But certain cards, some people are going to have unsellable. If you locked in Luka, you'll have that. Uh, Zion, I do have him. If I get an unsellable Zion, I could sell my locked in one. Um, I just There are a lot of those types of rewards this season that could actually make you a lot of MT, which I think is certainly an improvement. And I'll give 2K credit on that. But different ways to earn MT. And a little bit more MT and just better rewards in general in the modes is what it seems like. So... I'll give 2K credit, so hopefully that video did help you a lot in terms of how to reward, earn every single reward card, and uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace. Okay, so I would like to apologize. I just realized while I was editing that video, I didn't talk about the level up players and the ultimate reward at all, which is totally my fault. Pro Pass Donovan Mitchell is going to be here in the Pro Pass, so this is cool. Um, you get some other rewards and stuff in the Pro Pass, obviously, as well, and then obviously you get all the level up stuff as well. It's not currently working. It's like glitched. 2K somehow messed up, and I can't claim the rewards past level one for my uh, for buying the Hoff Pass, which gave me the level skips. But uh, the players are in here: are Emerald Luka Doncic, Emerald Anthony Davis, Sapphire Bernard King, uh, Ruby. Jeff Hornacek, as well as um, Amethyst Kevin McHale, and then obviously level 40 is going to be Diamond Wilt Chamberlain. There's other packs and Ascension and Hoff badges and uh, Amethyst coach Greg Popovich and some shoes and shoe boosts, other rewards as well. Of course, certain things that you're going to get as you level up. You can buy a level up if you want. I'm not going to. The one other thing I will talk about that is part of the ultimate reward, which is SGA, is going to be your token market players, which are Rick Fox, Phil Jackson, and Jerome Kersey. You're going to have to buy all those. You'll get enough tokens to buy all those players by completing the game modes that you have to complete for SGA. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to add. I had forgotten to add that at the end of the video, so I wanted to make sure that was included as well, and I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.